Oh boy, today's been a hell of a day. I got woken up around like 4 a.m. by the sound of pouring rain and like five minutes after that, boom, this awful buzzer noise notification that's part of the pump overflow alarm system. And so I hear that and I'm like, oh my God, it's 4 a.m. I go, oh, what's going on? So I run, I put on my swim trunks, I run outside just in the pouring rain. I'm like fumbling around in the dark trying to find the off switch for this thing because it's loud enough to wake up the entire neighborhood. Finally, I realized there's just a, there's a switch on the actual device that's doing the alarm buzzing thing. And so after that, I'm like, well, there's nothing else I can do. I can't see anything out here, but that's not a good sound. So yeah, I go back to bed for like an hour until I wake up, hear the sound again, run outside, turn, turn off the notification now that I know how to do it. And uh, then I go downstairs uh, to the bottom portion of like the deck below where the pool area is, like the utility deck with everything, look down and really, really bad things are happening in the way of there being like Niagara Falls down below my house creating a riverbed trench thing that's just pushing dirt down the hill, um, which, which isn't good at all. It's not, not supposed to be a thing that's happening. In fact, the pipe that's pushing all that water out, that pipe shouldn't even exist. There's no reason for it to exist. It rained uh, two and a half inches, which is the second most in recorded history it's ever rained in a day in September in LA, and B, the most it's rained in a day all of this year, which I guess isn't saying much because we're in a pretty terrible drought. Anyway, uh, I moved in a week ago. I was not prepared to deal with this. Um, fortunately, the rain has stopped now. Uh, I had the plumber over, they took a look at it. They're gonna be out tomorrow and they're gonna be um, like sorting out, sealing up the sump pit because what we think is happening is that the water is all going into the sump pit as it should, but then there's some way that it's getting out of it, funneling down uh, rather than it just being fully sealed as it should be. So hopefully we can get this thing fixed because it's uh, not, a, not a good situation. But now that it's dried up, I figured we could go actually down below, take a look at things, um, survey the damage, be interesting. Okay, so here we are in the uh, bowels of the house. So in a perfect world, assuming everything is working properly, the way things should go is all the storm water should go through these pipes. One of these is an output, but whatever. Two of these pipes should go into the sump pit. This one as well. And this just captures all the storm water that lands on the property. The sump pit's below this wooden thing right here. It's just, just an open pit. And uh, there are a couple pumps in there that then take that water, pumps it back up the street level so that you don't get a bunch of water uh, flowing down at the base of uh, the property. What happened last night though, is that uh, A, this whole thing is not properly sealed and there's somehow a pipe below it that the water is just flowing freely into. No idea why, it shouldn't exist, uh, but it does for some strange reason. On top of that, both the pumps failed to function. Uh, one of them's completely broken, apparently. The plumber just took it out. And the other, I guess, like, the outlet isn't the right type. Not GFI or something like that, whatever it's called. Uh, and so the breaker was just like, no, nah, we good. I don't like wet. You're shutting off. And uh, so none of the pumps were operating either, so it didn't even get to make a dent uh, to mitigate what was just flowing straight down. And then it got so full that the buzzer sounded, and then it was going out the overflow pipe as well. I'm going to try not to kill myself here. That's still as deep. Uh, let me show you where that pipe under the pit um, lets out to. That's not a good thing at all, contrary to popular belief. You don't want a, a dry version of the Mariana Trench uh, right at the base of your property. Generally not a good thing at all. This kind of just all happened last night. Yeah, so if it rains again, uh, not, not good. I, I think the house itself is pretty secure, right? The worry is just get all this dirt getting pushed uh, down the hill is not a good thing. Um, shouldn't be any worries about the house actually going anywhere because that thing is that's bolted down real far on these pylons. Basically, all the water that seeps out of the bottom of the sump pit ends up uh, coming out of that pipe. And that pipe, it turns into Niagara Falls and causes all this good stuff. So uh, tomorrow, we get to hopefully get this stuff all sealed while the pit below this wood here and I'm hoping that'll fix the issue uh, if not it means there's some other inlet into that pipe that's letting out at the base of the property um, and that's gonna suck if that's the case I should mention the reason I know it's coming from this is because uh, I took a hose put it directly into this pit and sure enough that thing started flowing that pipe down there uh, so I know for a fact this is at least one source anyway yep fun stuff 
Uh, yeah, so that rude awakening into uh, what it's like to be a homeowner. I guess that's pretty much worst case scenario, so let's hope that things from here on are a little bit more minor than that, but uh, we'll see, unless there's like an 8.0 magnitude earthquake and then just everything falls apart. <laughs> Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. So, I am sick. I just need to go lay down and be sick and try to not worry about this uh, getting fixed. So hopefully the main issue will be fixed tomorrow and then it will matter if it rains and then we can just work on getting the dirt filled back in uh, soon enough after that. I don't know. How do I go be sick? All right, I'll see you later.